Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you just joining, my name is Melinda and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. You can find me on those platforms along with Instagram at the username of Tailored and Teal. And today I'm bringing you a what sold video of items from January 1st until January 15th of 2020. I am trying something different. Normally I would sit in front of the camera and insert clips into the video later, but I'm going to do this all on my iPad and we'll see how it goes. I do have all of my items lined up, so just go down the line. Let me know if you like this type of video, if you would prefer to see my lovely face and have those snippets instead of versus the computer. I'd love to hear your feedback. Okay, so as always, we are going to start on Mercari. I had two little sales on that site. First up was this black leather braided women's belt. This belt had a really cool star pattern woven into it, so that's why I picked it up, and it was only 99 cents, and I did accept an offer for $12. Next up is a cut from the cloth lattice black, oh sorry, lattice back blouse. That's really hard to say. It was this cool faded eggplant color, really nice condition, super soft material, and I accepted an offer of $16 on that shirt. So for those two sales, my total was $28. There was a 10% fee that Mercari took, so that's $2.80, leaving me a total of $25.20 and an average sales price of $14 per item. All right, back on over to Poshmark. I had 16 sales on, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, I have 16 sales. Sorry about that. Um, this first up is a Cheddar B Country Scene Sleeveless Midi Dress. I had never heard this brand before, but when I looked up comps, they were kind of decent for a dress like this. And I really liked the scene on the dress. It reminded me of like an Italian countryside and a really nice silky feel to it. And I accepted an offer of $26. Next up is a covered bridge woven tapestry, tapestry hanging wall art. This was my uncle's who passed away a few years ago and he really, really loved covered bridges. So this was hanging in our house for a while. My mom and I decided that it needed to go on to someone else's house and hopefully they could enjoy it just as much as he did. So I accepted an offer of $20. All right, next up we have an Ann Taylor Petite Denim Dark Wash Pencil Skirt. I purchased this for only 25 cents, but it had been in my closet for a while, so I was happy to accept a $10 offer. It also was a very small size, it was zero petite, so it was also another reason why I was able to let it go for such a low dollar amount. So it off it went for $10. Next up is a Zara Trafaluk Polynesian Village Print T-shirt. This was a very quick flip. I think it sold within a couple of days. It was a really good condition and kind of just a cool all over print. And it sold for $16. Next up is a pair of American Eagle, Eagle Moto Jegging Ankle Pants. These pants were really neat, but they had some condition issues, like some fading around the cer certain areas, um, but it had the, the cool knee, knee area this whatever you call that that moto looking style and then the zipper pockets were cool I did have this listed for a while so I was happy to have a, a, an offer for $13 and off it went to its new home then we have a new with tags Ava and Viv square neck chambray blouse this was a full price sale and it even had a small mark on like underneath the armpit on one of one of the sides and it still sold for eighteen dollars and um it also was a 2x so i think that helped it sell as well if you hear my dogs in the background i do apologize they're still in playful mode so you might hear them barking occasionally next up we have a false graph ceramic green acorn dish with lid this was actually part of a bigger set when i did my research on it i believe there's like four acorn dishes that are all different colors and it's like a serving set but unfortunately I only had the one but it was in really good condition and it sold for nine dollars 
Next up, we have a Lululemon and Go Heathered Gray Endeavor dress. I don't know why the picture is making it look like it's distorted, like it looks like it's green in some places. Um, that's not how it looked in real life, so I think it might just be the iPad that I'm using. Anyway, this dress had a stain, which I tried to stain treat, and unfortunately, I it some of it came out, but I actually left kind of a rub mark on it, as you can see up here in the chest area. I did list it relatively high because all the other ones were listed high. The buyer and I went back and forth and we settled on $28, which I was very happy with, especially since it did have that flaw. Next up, we have a Project 62 Blue Henna Blackout Curtain Panel. This came from a Customer Returns Liquidation Lot. Now, I did specify that there was one panel. Also, the actual container said one panel. But when the customer received it, they didn't realize that it was one panel and they were asking if I had additional ones, which I didn't, unfortunately. I hope that they are able to find the other set, um, but this was a full price sale of $12. Next up, we have a Snow Skins White Lace Floral Bow, Floral and Bow Mini Skirt. This was a really cool find. I, Picked it up at a rummage sale. I had never heard the brand before. It possibly could have been vintage just because of the way the tag looked and it was also made in the USA, but I thought it would be perfect for like a winter party or even a wedding to wear to. And it sold for $24. Next up we have a Scala, 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 I'm not sure, collection red straw sun hat. This was given to me by my aunt to resell. She actually had a few hats that was given to her from a friend and I decided to put them up and I got an offer for $10. I had them listed for a while so I was okay with that. And shipping these hats are kind of difficult. Thankfully, Poshmark is able to use any priority box that we need to because I had to use a large flat rate box for this just because it was so wide. But um, it fit, thankfully. I was just really surprised that I needed a large box. Alright, then I sold a bundle. This went to a viewer and also a friend on Instagram. So Lynn, thank you so much for your purchase. This was a lot of Revlon Volume and Length Magnified Mascara, a lot of three. These were waterproof. They came out of a liquidation lot. And along with an alternative earth blue raw wide neck sweatshirt had this really cool tan pattern to it with the kangaroo pocket in front and this bundle sold for $25 with discounted shipping. Then we have a new with tags vintage Charmant belt. It had this really cool faux pearl buckle in front. It had the old tag from I believe it was the 80s. At least it looks like it was from the 80s. It did unfortunately have a musty smell which I did note in the listing and someone sent me an offer for $10 and I did accept. Then we have a Creative Expressions cross stitch kit. This I picked up um, in my shopping trip in Pennsylvania and I picked it up for 99 cents. It was a really cool um, saying about a child's love and a love love is a child is what it's called, but that it was a really cool vintagey piece and it sold for ten dollars. I did have this listed for a while, so I was okay with it going for a little bit less than I wanted. Then we have a Lily Pulitzer, the beach pant linen drawstring pants. Um, this was really really cool pattern and actually there weren't that many listed that had this pattern there were a few other different patterns um so i believe i had this listed at 30 35 dollars and someone sent me an offer for 20. it was a quick flip i had it listed for less than a week and i did accept that offer of 20 dollars then the last thing that sold on poshmark was a pair of old navy 16 short original mid-rise jeans I've had these in my closet for a few months and I had them listed at $16 and I woke up to an awesome offer of $14 and I quickly accepted that. So 
on Poshmark. I had $265 in sales. I paid $59 in fees. I did give out uh, one, two, three, four, five shipping discounts, and that's a total of $9, giving me an, a profit of $197 with an average sales price of $16.56. All right, moving on to eBay. On eBay, I had 24 sales. So first up is this new with tags, Ava and Viv foil print pin tuck long sleeve blouse. This I swear was gonna go for Christmas or for New Year's, but it didn't, it set for a little while. Um, I did accept a best offer of this, so this the price that you see here is not what it sold for, it actually sold for $12. Next up is an Old Navy plaid long sleeve button down classic shirt. This, it was a size extra small and it had a few like white dots near one of the armpits, but um, someone sent me an offer for $11 and I did accept based off of the condition and it was just a really cool looking, I love the color, color combination in that one. Okay, this one was my fault. <laughs> so it's a Liz Lang maternity for Target sweetheart neck tie waist midi dress. This did have a stain at the bottom, but you couldn't really tell because it was in kind of the floral print. However, I accidentally put this on auction. I didn't mean to. I wanted to list it for like $15.99, but for some reason in my tired brain, I probably was listing late and I listed it for $0.99 cents and I received a bid later that week. No one else bid on that item, so it sold for $0.99. Cents. I think overall, I ended up walking away with negative two dollars but that's okay it wasn't that big of a hit um i didn't spend that much money on it but lesson learned make sure that you don't click the auction button and that you hit the um the buy option all right next is a vermont country store empire waist flutter bell sleeve maxi dress this dress was gorgeous. I tried it on. I wanted to keep it, but I'm like, I don't have anywhere to wear this. What am I going to do with it? I did list it high at $29.99. Someone, someone in California sent me an offer for $14.50. Uh, I think sales were slow that day, so I did decide to accept the offer, and off it went for $14.50. Next is a Home Essentials Wooden Pineapple Serving Tidbit Coffee Tray Decor. This was in almost new condition. Uh, there were still stickers on the back. There was nowhere at all. And it sold on a best offer of $13. Then we have a Torrid Border Print Smocked Chest Keyhole Back Chalice Blouse. This was a size zero. And I accepted an offer for $13 on this one. It was beautiful. Next up is a full price sale. Yes, it was. Um, this is a Lucky Brand Mosaic Print Flutter Sleeve Cutout Blouse. I bought this at a buy, sell, trade store in Pennsylvania where they had 60% off of their clearance and it sold for a full price of $22.99. This was a really cool find. It was a Willow Creek Sloth Yoga Puzzle. Now, when I picked it up, I thought that it was new because someone had taken the bag and stapled it together, and I was like, oh my God, it's sealed, that's so awesome. No. However, I did count all the pieces twice and I was like 99% sure that they were all there. The pieces looked brand new, like it was never even put together. Um, this sold once on eBay, but the customer wanted to cancel because the shipping was so high because it did weigh over a pound. And then I relisted it and it sold again for $9.60 of an offer. Then we have a Gap Print Pleated A-line skirt in Hollyberry, size four. This was, someone sent me an offer for $15. It did have a few um, black marks to 
towards the bottom hem. There you can see there's like a little white dot there too. But overall in good condition, like you couldn't really see those until you got up close. And someone sent me an offer for $15. Then we have a 1998 Snowden and Friends Raggedy Ann and Andy tin. This was part of my mom's Raggedy Ann collection. I believe there were a few other others on eBay that were selling, so I put mine up for $8.99 and I accepted. Actually, I sent an offer of $6.50 and that person accepted my offer. Then we have a Converse One Star Navy Blue Casual A-Line Dress. It's really hard to tell in this picture, but it is navy blue. Um, it's a very dark navy blue. And someone sent me an offer for $13 and I accepted. I had that listed for quite a while, so I was happy to see it go. And this one was, this is such a cool find. So it's a new with tags, vintage Levi's orange tab, wide leg flare jeans. It was from the 1970s. It had all of the tags attached to it. Look at that. Look at those pockets. So cool. Um, it even had the original tag of $14.99, sold at Denby's, wherever that is. And I did list these high at 19, or I'm sorry, <laughs> I listed it at $99.99. And I think I sent an offer to someone for $70. No, I think they sent me the offer, but I quickly accepted. They paid pretty quickly and I was very happy to see them go to an, a good home. They were such a cool find. Next up, we have a Karen Kane Silk Blend Teal Floral Blouse with the uh, the tie and the neckline. This top was actually altered. It had, the armpits were sewn in a little bit, but it still fit like a large. So I was able to accept a lower offer of $10. I listed it at $16.99. It was a silk blend, but because of the alterations, I did let it go for $10. Then we have a new with tags, One World Teal Purple Boho Sequin Scoop Neck Blouse. <laughs> this is a size 3X and it was in great condition, really cool overall print. And uh, this was an offer to buyers and I, or sorry, offer to watchers. And I sent them one for $18.50. <clears throat> Then we have a an American Eagle Outfitters gray soft and sexy plush v-neck sleeve, long sleeve top. This sold relatively quickly within a few weeks. Usually the plush does sell quickly for me. I listed it at $17.99 and someone sent me an offer for $13, which I accepted. Then we have a Not Your Daughter's Jeans Maryland Straight Leg. Oh, look, I have a typo. I said Len. <laughs> uh, straight Leg Snake Skin Pattern Enzyme Wash Jean Size 18W. These were beautiful. Um, they had this overall like snake skin, but they were kind of shiny material. And... I sent an offer of $24.50. They were listed at $29.99 and that customer did accept. <clears throat> then we have, my mom used to work at Big Boys and she collected a whole bunch of stuff. So she recently gave me her, st her stash to list. I listed this book bag and it sold in hours. I think in two hours actually. It did have condition issues, it had um, bubbling in the plastic. It had some pen marks on the inside. It had some holes. I put it up for $9.99 and it sold full price in two hours. I was very, very surprised. Next up is a G by Juliana pull on super stretchy flare jeans. These came out of a thread up denim rescue box. They were really long, like very, very long. Um, but they had really good stretch to them. I like the flare and someone sent me an offer for $16 and I did accept. Then we have a Henry Siegel Company Boston made by Wallace B. Sons and it was a soldered silver two ounce creamer pitcher. I had to do some research on this item. Originally I picked it up and it was tarnished 
really badly so I got some silver polish polish it up and this is the end result of it and it did have you can see there it says Henry Siegel it had some dents on the bottom of it but it was still a really cool piece and this was a store that had a restaurant in it in Boston and like the early, early 1900s, like 1908, I believe. So I knew that it was silver. Obviously, it's silver, and it was heavy, so I knew it was really silver. Um, so I put it up for $24.99, and someone sent me a $20 offer, and I said, yes, absolutely. And I did get feedback on it, and they said it was a really cool piece of history, and they loved it. Then we have a Vintage Bob's Big Boy Advertisement Amber Glass Cigarette Ashtray. This was part of my mom, my mom's stash. I list, listed it for $14.99. I sent an offer out for $10 and they accepted. Actually, they might have sent me that offer, but I accepted either way. Then we have an Express Fletch, whoa, Express Flex Stretch. That's really hard to say. Uh, Space Dye Short Sleeve Shirt. This was... Um, given to me for free to sell and I listed it for $9.99 and it sold for $6.99. Then we have a green floral tooled weather leather belt. Weathered leather. Man, what's with the tongue twisters tonight. This belt was super gorgeous. It did have one tiny little blue speck of paint on it but the floral detail was beautiful it was listed for $24.99 I did accept an offer for $15 and I hope that they love it because it was beautiful then this was a repeat buyer the person who bought the book bag also purchased this a few days later this is a vintage 1990s Bob's big boy gold charm my mom thinks that this is part of a five-year service award that she won, but she never wore it. She never put it on anything, so it was brand new, still in the box. I listed it for $14.99, and I sent an offer to this customer for $12, and they did accept. And then the last thing that we have is a really cool find. It's a tea forte pug teapot. Um, it was new in box or open box, I guess you can say, never used. It still had the plastic around the, the strainer there. Really cool grass pattern. I listed it for $34.99. I had a 15% off promotion. So someone bought it outright for $29.74. So on eBay, we had $387.80 in sales. I paid $48.85 in eBay fees. As a reminder, I don't include PayPal fees because I typically make up those fees in what I pay for shipping, it kind of equals itself out. So that gives me a total of $338.95 after the fees with an average sales price of $16.16. .16. And total sales was $680.80 total fees slash shipping discounts on Poshmark was $119.65, giving me a total of $561.15 for January 1st through January 15th, 2020. Not too shabby for the first two weeks of the year. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Definitely give me feedback if you prefer this video versus my other video where I sit in front of the camera. Uh, make sure to like and like this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.